guys, welcome back to my channel, Fun with Leilani. Today, we are gonna be making slime. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this video for so long, and I finally get to do it. So let's get started. First, we're gonna get glow in the dark purple glue. And it's sparkly. I'm so excited. Let's open this up. So what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna pour in the whole thing. You know, cause you gotta pour in the whole thing to make a nice big slime. You hear that farting noise everybody? But also what's helpful, they got that little thing on the top. But I don't want to do that. So. Know what we're gonna do? Uh-oh. Oh, it's an orange. I eat oranges. Alright, so now we have that glue. Now we're gonna put in some activator. What I learned about slime is that you gotta keep putting in activator until you get that consistency. 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 Consistency you want, okay? So I'm gonna add in a little for now. And I'm gonna see what it does. And when you put an activator, you keep mixing. And when you feel like you need more activator, you keep mixing. Basically like making my good stuff. I really like that sparkly. My favorite color is blue and purple, so I'm glad I have a purple one. Okay. I like slime because it's like, it's like this gooey feeling and you know, it just feels good. I mean, I like it when foam beads they're in there and I get that crunchy noise. I also like when I have, you know, glittery slime because that looks pretty. I also like that gooey slime. I like a lot of textures of slime. I also like the hard and crunchy ones. You know, when I get older and everything and I can have comments, let me know which slime you like. Sadly, you can't do that right now, but everybody goes up. I like sparkly slime because it's really pretty, but glow in the dark slime, when you turn off the lights, it is just so cool. So we're gonna see glow in this video. Hold on, I've got to roll up the sleeves. Ugh. Don't want any slime on your sleeves. I'm getting close to that good consistency. I'm sorry. I'm getting close to that good consistent, you know what I mean. Let's get that. It's getting close, baby. You need a lot of arm effort for this because your arm's gonna start hurting after a while.
getting close. It feels this, when you're making your slime and you put some activator, it doesn't like get it right away so that it just starts getting really gooey and wet and stuff. So then you should start playing with it to make it nice. Look at, see, it's coming together. I like playing with my slime. See, look at that. I am a slime expert. If you ever need to learn how to make slime, this is my video. Okay, then I'm gonna grab all the slime that's in this bowl and play with it. So we get good consistency. You know what I mean. Okay, let's see. So when you're done and you've got the consistency you want, I mean, I got it. Look at that. I got what I wanted. It became into slime. See, like I told you, when it gets into that um, part where it gets all goopy and everything, start playing with it at that moment, and then it will, like, when you keep playing with it, it might be sticky, but if you keep playing with it, it won't be sticky, and it will get that texture that you want. Then when you're done, what you want to do is grab the whole plate and just start pressing on each and everything to get all the slime out of the bowl. What you do, close one. We're gonna just cap on just in case. I thought we, were, we needed two bottles, but looks like we didn't. We just needed that bottle. You, when you use the magic liquid, the magic liquid. Let's take a science break and talk about what's really happening here. The glue we added is made of polymers. Polymers are tight strands of molecules in the glue called polyvinyl acetate. The magical liquid is basically liquid borax or sodium borate. When the glue and the liquid mix, a process called cross-linking happens. The cross-linking causes the polymers of the glue to flow less freely creating the thicker slime consistency. And that's science, folks. Now back to the fun. You get, um, you only need to use it a little bit, you know, and you get this. But, you know, an eye contact solution, you're gonna need it a few times. But the magical liquid, it's got a magic in it. And it just makes the slime Let's grab a plate so I can play with this thing. Come on, let's do that. Okay, now we're back. All right, so I got a bowl for it, and then we're just gonna be cleaning my hands. We're gonna put that right there. Look at the slime. Now I'm gonna see if the bowl, I could grab everything out of it. I really like the texture of the slime. Um, in my last video, I did a slime review on slime and everything. And this time I'm making slime, making slime. And I think I like this better than every single one. I'm just joking. I really like the Nickelodeon and the Play-Doh, but we're talking about this video. See you guys. Then.
I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure to share this video. And if you ever need to learn how to make slime, this is the right video for you. Now we're gonna test it in the dark.